Up next, we have David Manning. David has over 25 successful years in the B2B manufacturing sector, focusing on electronic component sales and marketing. For the last three years, he has dedicated his efforts to the advancement of a new, clean, self-sustaining energy technology developed by Creaser Research that will change the world. Please welcome David. Hi, thanks for, uh, well, thanks for being here. So uh, what Creaser Research is really passionate about uh, is a clean, new, sustainable energy technology that we truly believe will change the way the world gets its electrical power. One of the uh, issues with uh, electrical energy is it's unreliable. Um, there's frequently power failures, our cell phone batteries running low, our laptops and tablets where we're all looking for a place to plug in at the airport especially. Um, it's just not something that, uh, well, there's better ways we can do that. The other thing is through, uh, since the Industrial Revolution, we've been using so much in the way of fossil fuels, uh, oil, coal. Uh, it's a very expensive, very messy process to try to get that and, of course, puts all sorts of greenhouse gases in the environment that we don't need. Beyond that, there's uh, other technologies such as batteries that still have disposability issues, as we already covered you still have to recharge them. Uh, there's always problems with other existing technologies. Solar, wind, still is very weather dependent. So it's not always a reliable source and still an expensive way to get your energy. Other new technologies such as uh, vibration, uh, kinetic energy, um, they don't have the potential that our new device does. So what we have is a new semiconductor based uh, chip about one centimeter square thinner than a postage stamp, able to generate up to 10 watts of current from ambient thermal energy. Ambient thermal meaning the temperature that's always around us. So what our device offers is uh, a way to have sustainable, clean power uh, without any pollutions, uh, very low cost materials, easy to integrate. And part of the way it works, or a quick comparison between solar and our device, is you have solar energy exciting electrons generating a usable current. Our device, it works off of thermal energy, just the temperature around us. And we're able to harvest these thermal electrons based on a whole new theory in quantum mechanics or physics, um, where we are able to harvest these, these thermal electrons. And if you've ever had an electric static shock, you know there's electricity in the air. Um, we're able to do that. And uh, although it sounds too good to be true, we've had numerous third-party uh, reviewers, including a national government lab, review the devices and confirm that they are actually generating electrical current. Part of uh, where we're at now is our device, uh, when it was tested, is producing a low amount of electrical energy. We need to continue with our engineering to get higher energy outputs. And that's what the red dots indicate are more electrons coming from uh, well, from coming from a metal substrate. So where will you find us? Uh, the chip device is stackable. So the small image you see in the tweezers, we could actually build directly into a cell phone as a replacement for a battery. The others could be right into a semiconductor. And things that we can power with those devices are uh, cell phones, your appliances, your tablets and laptops, uh, car pressure gauges that are in every car tire now. Uh, other things that are starting to come along are various sensors. Uh, so there are bridge sensors and uh, other uh, infrastructure sensors, always sending a wireless signal that currently require a battery to power them. We can replace all those batteries, and no one has to climb up a bridge three or four years later to change them out. Uh, medical sensors are becoming a bigger growth area as well, uh, monitoring heart or uh, uh, all sorts of other issues. Or And those who work out at the gym, often have equipment to monitor your pulse rate and your uh, um, performance levels. Medical equipment and water purification in countries that do not have a reliable, stable source of electrical energy can be used anywhere where you're not, uh, you don't have access to a, a wall outlet. And of course, we've all heard the internet of things as our wireless world is continuing to grow and all these devices are going to be connected everything is going to require a power source. And that's something that we can independently do without ever having to recharge it at a very low cost. So knowing, knowing that that's coming up, 
what could you do with a power source like that? Something a centimeter square that you could build into something or help change the world in a way that you can apply this new technology. Something to think about. The world is always going to continue to need more energy. And there's always going to be, uh, you know, under current greenhouse gases and expansion and that. But we've got a solution, so don't worry about it. The world is not going to die and uh, get overheated. We can change it uh, with your help and involvement in this new technology. Thank you very much.